Unit 5 Our Universe Chapter 12 Air Learning Objectives 1. Air around us 2. Air occupying space 3. Air having weight 4. Uses of air Let me answer. Can you feel the air? Why do we need air? Air The properties Air around us Air fills up space Air has weight Uses of air Air is found everywhere Air is all around us. We cannot see air but we can feel it when it blows. All living things need air to breathe and to be alive. We cannot live without air. When air blows, it is called wind. When air blows very gently, it is called breeze. Air has space. Take a balloon, blow air into it and see what happens. The balloon becomes bigger. Why? This is because air has occupied the space inside the balloon. Hence, we have come to know that air occupies space. Air carries weight. Take two similar balloons, fill air in one balloon only. Put both these balloons in a balance. You will know that the balloon with air in it has more weight. Hence, air has weight. Applications of air. All living things need air to breathe. Fish breathe through gills. Balloons, aeroplane, tires, kites and windmills all need air to do work. Air helps to dry clothes. Air is needed for burning. How does air become dirty? Air around us can get dirty. Smoke care from cars and buses makes the air dirty. Smoke from factories also makes the air dirty. Smoke from burning leaves and waste material pollutes the air around us. Facts still no. Air is all around us. All living things need air to breathe. Without air, we cannot survive. Let's recall. 1. Air is all around us. 2. We cannot see or touch air. 3. Moving air is called wind. 4. Air has weight. 5. Air occupies space. 6. All living things need air to live and breathe. 7. We also need air for burning. 8. We can feel air when it blows. Word power. Blowing, moving. Essential, necessary. Gills, a body part of the fish that helps it to breathe in water. Occupies, covers, fills the space. Smoke. Visible vapors produced by burning of a substance. Train your brain. Cross curriculum connect. 1. Answer the following questions in short. A. Why do living things need air? B. What the gentle moving air is called? C. Does air help in burning things? 2. Fill up the blanks with suitable words. A. We breathe in dash. B. Moving air is called dash. C. Dash air is harmful to plants and animals. 3. Answer the following questions. A. Write two properties of air. B. What are the uses of air for men? C. Prove that air has weights. D. What makes air dirty? 4. Take the right and cross the wrong statements. A. We need fresh air to breathe in. B. The smoke from factories makes the air dirty. C. We can live happily even if the air around us is dirty and giving bad smell. C. Multiple choice questions. A. We need dash to breathe in. When nitrogen to carbon dioxide 3 fresh air for polluted air. B. When air moves gently, it is called 1 storm, 2 breeze, 3 wind, 4 gust. C. We cannot live without dash. 1 nitrogen, 2 hydrogen, 3 air, 4 fire. 6. Give one word for each one of the following. A. What is present all around us? B. What helps to get the clothes dry? C. What's the blowing air is called? D. What makes the air dirty? 7. Match the columns. Column A. Column B. A. Living things. B. Girls. C. Moving air. D. Air-filled balloon. E. No air. 1. 
space to burning candle puts out three breathe air four fish five wind activity time air is important for burning take two candles light them and fix them on a table cover one of them with a bell jar having holes cover the second one with the bell jar without hole what happens the candle under the first bell jar keeps on burning while the other candle blows off after some time this shows that air helps in burning hot one there is strong wind blowing outside would you keep the windows and doors of your house open or closed why two under the nose right then some body parts used by different living things to breathe also write the respective living things along with project time try this on a sunday remove most of the air from your bicycle tires now ride it can you ride it well now get the air filled up in all three tires now ride the bicycle can you ride smoothly why is that so ask science teacher about this